Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul, and in this short game to video, we're going to be testing out NVIDIA's 378.78 drivers on a Ryzen 7 1700X. Now, NVIDIA have made some rather bold claims when it comes to their performance increases with both DirectX 12 and Vulkan. So, comparing against the driver released in May 2016, NVIDIA have claimed that performance goes up to about 33% higher with the latest driver. So we thought it would be quite interesting to see how the previous release, which is the 378.66, fares against the 378.78. Now, as we all know, Ryzen 7 does have a couple of issues at the moment with uh, processor scheduling in Windows 10. So you do need to bear those in mind. However, even despite all of that, the latest driver definitely does show some increases in performance. And we ran these tests multiple times. You can see on screen how they fare. In some cases, the performance difference is within margin of error. However, in many cases, it does definitely feel a little faster on the latest version of the driver. And this is particularly true in Hitman and, of course, Doom which, well, frankly, ran very well to begin with, anyway, on the GTX 1080, but it runs even better, and NVIDIA are definitely starting to push um, a lot of optimizations towards Vulkan. Naturally, these, these drivers are not just performance increases in these specific games, it's also, for example, in the new Ghost Recon, there are definitely performance improvements in that, which we've not tested in this particular driver, as I thought it would be more fun to focus on these four games, which are pretty well known at the moment for benchmarks in the PC community. With all of that said, I'm going to let the benchmarks play and the video kind of play, uh, speak for itself. However, we will be doing an awful lot of testing over the next couple of weeks. We have yet more graphics cards coming. We are finishing a couple of other reviews in the background. And also, I've heard a lot of you ask me for some Ryzen 7 performance, uh, sorry, core performance disabling metrics. So in other words, disabling two processor cores, four processor cores. So we're going to be doing a lot of testing on that as well. And also a couple of fun projects, which don't really serve any purpose other than just for fun. So definitely stick with us for that. Anyway, hopefully you are going to enjoy the video. I'll leave it playing. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.